Toyota is releasing the new Stout, the compact truck that is shaking up the whole market with its amazing appeal. And we're not going to waste your time. Instead, I'm going to talk about facts. Seven reasons why you should buy the new Toyota Stout. Starting with number seven, engine options. Toyota's rolling in hot with not one, not two, but three or even potentially four powertrain options. This is very new to this market segment. Think about it. Ford's serving up a choice between a hybrid setup and a turbo 4 engine, while Hyundai is offering two flavors of gasoline power. Toyota has something for everyone. If you're thirsty for horsepower, brace yourself for the RAV4's robust hybrid setup, which is rumored to make an appearance. With a 2.5-liter inline-four engine churning out a combined 219 horses, it's akin to strapping a jet engine to your truck. Plus, both hybrid options are paired with a CVT and a grip-tight all-wheel drive system. But hold on to your hands because there's more. For those who prefer the classic gas-powered experience, Toyota's got your back. It will come with the same gutsy 2.5-liter engine found in the RAV4, boasting 203 horses and paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's like unleashing a wild stallion on the open road. And get ready for this jaw-dropper. Rumor has it that there might be a turbo-4-powered beast in the pipeline. With Toyota's spanking new 2.4-liter engine under the hood, this bad boy could pack a punch with 228 horsepower and a whopping 243 pound-feet of torque. Talk about power to spare. But we all know that this raw power alone can't make it to the top of the league. This segment is led by one of the best trucks when it comes to one thing that no one can really skip. Number 6. Fuel Efficiency The Ford Maverick comes with an eye-popping 42 miles per gallon in the city and a solid 33 miles per gallon on the highway. This pickup is rewriting the rulebook, but brace yourselves because we're about to drop a bombshell. Enter the Toyota Stout, ready to claim the throne in this segment. Rumor has it they might just whip up something sleeker and meaner for the base variant. And guess what? Toyota's hybrid game is already top-notch. With an array of hybrid setups to choose from, they're like a kid in a candy store. Imagine a system based on the 2-liter inline 4, the powerhouse that's been turning heads in the European Corolla and beyond. This baby got a makeover last year, now boasting a whopping 196 horsepower. With this beast under the hood, the Stout could easily hit a mind-blowing 40 mpg combined, leaving the Maverick eating dust. Yep, you heard that right. More power, more efficiency, it's like the holy grail of pickups. And here's the kicker, this system won't break the bank. In fact, it might just make the Stout even more affordable than its Ford rival. Which is good for them because, like we said for Toyota to steal the spotlight, they've got to excel in every department, and you better believe fuel economy is top of that list. But you know that there is something that no one can match. Number 5. Reliability when it comes to what pickup truck enthusiasts value most, it's all about that solid build and unwavering reliability, right? But let's be real here, the Maverick has kind of been dropping the ball on that front lately. I mean, let's call a spade a spade. Ford's been racking up recalls like nobody's business, and unfortunately, the Maverick hasn't been exempt from the drama. We're talking about multiple recalls and a whole bunch of disgruntled customers. From engine fires to wonky airbags, shoddy assembly to brake light blunders, it's been a bit of a wild ride to say the least. Now, let's talk Toyota. Sure, they've had their fair share of recalls, but they've been more like minor hiccups compared to Ford's roller coaster. Toyota's occasional recalls? Mostly due to some not so great engineering choices. But hey, when it comes to build quality, they've been holding it down like a champ. And don't get me started on reliability. Toyota's been setting the bar high for ages. Their plants? Like well-oiled machines pumping out quality rides left and right. So here's the deal. Toyota has a reputation for making durable cars, and they're not going to lose that just to make a compact truck. So if you ask me, it's safe to say we're probably not going to see a massive difference in the reliability department when we compare it to the Maverick, the market leader. Number 4. Design you know what's fantastic about small pickups? They tick all the right boxes. Easy to handle, won't break the bank on gas, and so practical. 
But let's be real, when it comes to looks, the options out there aren't exactly turning heads. Take the Maverick, for instance. It tries to mimic its bigger, brawnier relatives, but it ends up feeling kind of meh. Then there's the Hyundai Santa Cruz, rocking that Tucson-inspired front that's splitting opinions everywhere. It's definitely not your typical pickup vibe, especially if you're used to the classic truck aesthetic. While we're still waiting on the full reveal, we got some credible sources and magazines reporting hints, and if those teaser pictures are anything to go by, we might just be in for a treat. Picture this, a compact pickup blending the best of both worlds. The reliability of traditional pickups jazzed up with a dash of vintage Toyota charm. Those sneak peek images? They've got a hint of that old-school stout swagger, with nods to iconic models like the legendary FJ45. With this fresh approach, Toyota's new Stout isn't just another practical runaround, it's shaping up to be a lifestyle statement. Who knows, it might even reel in some folks who never thought they'd hop on the pickup bandwagon. Honestly speaking, there's only one option that can be worthy of matching this, the Subaru Brat. Both companies are trying to revive the old nameplate and incorporate some retro looks into today's design trend. But there's something that Subaru can't compete with. Number 3. Convenience now, when you're eyeing a truck like this, you're probably thinking about what you're getting for your hard-earned cash, right? Well, buckle up. Word on the street is it's going to share a bunch of parts with the trusty RAV4. And you know what that means? It's likely going to pack a safety punch that's on par with, if not better than its SUV cousin. Straight out of the gate, the Stout throws in a few safety features as standard goodies. Think forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, and those handy automatic high beams. Nice, right? But hold on to your hats, because if you're willing to splash a bit more cash, there's a whole buffet of upgrades waiting for you. We're talking rear parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, you name it. And get this. Rumor has it that the Stout might just one-up the RAV4 by snagging the latest and greatest version of Toyota's Safety Sense suite. So when it comes to it, the Stout isn't just going to be a truck, it's going to be a safety fortress on wheels, leaving the Maverick in the dust. But that's not all. The Stout knocks it out of the park with a massive 12.3-inch interactive touchscreen display that not only looks slick, but packs in must-haves like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. It's like having your smartphone on wheels. And don't let its tough exterior fool you. The Stout is all about cruising in comfort. You're in for a smooth journey, no matter the bumps along the way. There's room to stretch. Whether you're the driver or just along for the ride, you'll find plenty of space to relax and enjoy the trip. On top of all of that, the Stout is stepping up with the eco-friendly innovations aimed at boosting performance while keeping the planet in mind. Plus, Toyota has always been offering a lot of options for us to customize, and let's not forget their trims. Nothing can match the TRD badge. They don't believe in a one-size-fits-all approach, which is why they have such diverse choices to choose from. But let's talk about it in more detail. Number 2. Cab Layout and Options The market is dominated by the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. These bad boys might be able to compete with the Stout, although it would totally be better. But here's the kicker, both rock crew cab setups with cozy seating for all your pals and family, paired with beds that are, well, on the shorter side. The Maverick rolls out with a 4.5-foot bed, while the Hyundai ain't stretching it much further. Now picture this, wouldn't it be sweet to have a single or extended cab version? Sure, it might sacrifice a bit of passenger space, but think about the folks out there in need of a serious workhorse. Contractors, farmers, even you, on those days where the thing you need to haul isn't fitting in the small bed. As for Toyota, are they gearing up to throw their hat in the ring? While other brands are ditching extended cabs, Toyota's been trying to bring them back. Look at the Tacoma's Extra Cab, a sleek two-door setup that's got us all kinds of intrigued. We're talking potential, folks. A small version of the Tacoma could be the game-changer many have been waiting for. A truck that's not just a means of getting from A to B, but a full-on partner in crime for all your hauling needs. But there is one thing we know in detail and indefinitely. Number 1. Price Toyota knows that, beyond all the bells and whistles, price matters. 
That's why we're confident they'll go all out to keep their compact pickup wallet friendly. Remember when the Maverick first hit the scene and you could practically hear wallets cheering? Well, those days are fading fast. Ford's offering is inching closer to the $25,000 mark off for the basic model, and who knows, it might even surpass it soon. Toyota will aim to keep things in the same ballpark with a base model stout that is around $25,000. But here's the real kicker. It's not just about the price tag, it's about accessibility. Ford's been struggling to keep up with demand, leaving buyers twiddling their thumbs for months on end. Good luck finding one at your local dealership, and if you do, brace yourself for some jaw-dropping markups. Sure, Ford's promising to crank up production, but talk is cheap until it hits the road, right? Toyota is known for their slick logistics. They're like the ninjas of the automotive world when it comes to supply chain stuff. While Ford's wrestling with backlogs and shortages, we're betting Toyota's got this under control. No waiting lists, no dealer shenanigans, just pure, unadulted pickup joy. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.